What's going on, y'all? It's TKJ. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you for stopping by, man. Some execs were saying this might be one of the most boring trade deadlines in recent memory. Well, they were wrong because we just got another one. That's right. The Los Angeles Lakers have been involved in a blockbuster three-team trade, and I've got it pulled up here on 2K. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. They're going to be sending Russell Westbrook, a 2027 first-round pick, Damian Jones, and Juan Toscano Anderson to the Utah Jazz, where they're going to be getting Jared Vanderbilt and Malik Beasley. Now, the Jazz are also going to be sending Mike Conley, Nikhil Alexander Walker, a 2025 second round pick, a 2026 second round pick, and there should also be a 2024 one, uh, but it isn't here in 2K. Not like it matters too much for us here. So the third team involved is the Minnesota Timberwolves. They're going to be sending D'Angelo Russell to the Lakers, and I did have to throw in Bryn Forbes here um, because 2K isn't a perfect game. It wouldn't let me do the trade without throwing in another player. Not like it makes much of a difference. He's only averaging about 11 minutes per game this season, but yeah man this is an absolutely massive trade so what i'm here to do is pull this off and now i'm going to be doing a realistic rebuild of the los angeles lakers so i'm going to be doing three seasons where the goal is to win a championship and if i don't win it during that time then the video will not end until eventually i do let's not waste any more time man make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't 80 percent of y'all who've been watching these videos are not subscribed so i'd really appreciate if you could hit that button but it's time to get into this video man let's get it so the Lakers are 25 and 30. They are the 13th team in the West and they're 13 games behind the top spot, um, which obviously they're not going to catch up to the Nuggets. Really all they're hoping for, man, is to at least get to this 10th spot. That is the cutoff point for the play in. And it's the Utah Jazz right now who they're two games behind. You got to expect the Jazz are going to be worse. You know, they lost uh, Beasley, Vanderbilt and also Conley. And they are expected about Russell Westbrook. So I went ahead and just did that off camera. I'm interested to see where he signs. We'll keep an eye out on that. Also, I have updated this with the recent Kevin Durant trade, um, which also just broke like maybe 10 minutes before I started recording because I'm doing this late at night. So I'm on top of my game, man. We got the KD trade here. Um, if you come over to the uh, Eastern Conference, we also did the Jakob Pertle trade um, for the Raptors. So we're here, man. I'm on my grind uh, during this trade deadline. You know, I'm on point right now. But yeah, either way, let's focus on the Lakers here. They got 27 games left um, in the regular season, and we are about to hit the trade deadline tomorrow. So honestly, man, I think we're standing pat. I don't think we need to do anything else as we take a look at the rotation here. This is how I would roll with it, man. D'Angelo Russell, Malik Beasley, Rui Hachimura, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis at the five. Off the bench, you still got Thomas Bryant, Jared Vanderbilt, Austin Reeves, Lonnie Walker, and Dennis Schroeder. We also have Patrick Beverly, who's no longer getting minutes. Um, Winyan Gabriel, Troy Brown Jr. Um, also Max Christie, who I do like a lot, although obviously he's too young right now. But yeah, man, I think this is a pretty good team. You know, obviously you have a lot more shooting now because originally you had Russell Westbrook, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis on the floor at the same time. All of them below 35% from deep, which is league average. However, that has now changed. Russell Westbrook, 39.1%. Malik Beasley, 36%. Uh, Rui Hachimura, slightly below, but we can definitely see um, he is capable of knocking them things down. As you mentioned, LeBron James, below league average. Um, Anthony Davis, below league average. But I think he got enough shooting now in this starting lineup off the bench. I think he has some really nice defenders. You know, you got Jared Vanderbilt. Lonnie Walker has also proven to be a pretty gritty defender. So... Yeah, man, I think this is a pretty good team. You know, like I said, there's only a day left until the trade deadline. So I think this is it for the Lakers. All there really is left to do is simulate this regular season and see if we can make the play in. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so a quick break in the action. We started off pretty rough after making this trade. So you see we had a little, um, little losing streak here of four games. But since then, we have been on fire. That's one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 game winning streak. We're hooping right now. And really, it's just a matter of the team chemistry going up. It went down. I didn't see what it started off with. Um, but now it's at 100%, and we're hooping. We even beat the Phoenix Suns, who again have Kevin Durant, uh, Rui Hachimura, 18 points. This is a balanced attack right here. I like that, man. What did they do here? Uh, KD yikes four for nine that's tough that's tough that's definitely a team to watch out for though in our conference um but we are the eight seed as of right now i'm just gonna do a couple of little updates here um we are the eight seed so we're right here i would love absolutely love to get to the six seed and just avoid the play in altogether i don't know if that's gonna happen we're two games behind the clippers 
um let's see with seven games left yeah seven games left although one of them is against the clips so we're gonna do this game by game man because i'm really interested in seeing how this plays out we win that one we like it we win that one as well okay boys okay boys come on we can beat the jazz we can beat the jazz yes sir we're here man is this for the six seed let's go ahead and see it is as we have also clinched a playing spot which is really nice but i want to avoid the play-in altogether man i really do so let's see if we can beat the clippers here the battle for la oh we lost it that's tough all right next up we got the phoenix suns there we go we're still in this i think right with one game left let's go ahead and see um as it is now the mavericks who we're competing with interesting this team does have Kyrie Irving that's also updated because your boy is on his game um and it looks like they also have one more game left so let's see if we can do it man let's go ahead and see we're going to simulate this surely we beat the Jazz right yep okay all right I didn't see did we avoid the plan or not I did not see um but we're going to find that out here in a second Luka Doncic wins MVP Paolo uh Russell Westbrook ended up in Atlanta I was about to say I didn't check in on it but there it is uh six man of the year in atlanta do i like that or not i don't mind it i don't mind it honestly i think really they need three-point shooting uh maybe some nice wing depth atlanta does that's something i really hope that they would try to address um come trade deadline but i guess bringing in russell westbrook um doesn't hurt you know it looks like he's been doing well off the bench so good for him claxon gets defensive player of the year okay he's thriving um without kd and kyrie in brooklyn um Alper and Sengu most improved makes sense makes sense let's go ahead and see do we have any all NBA guys LeBron James of course do I even have to ask um anyone else maybe Anthony Davis question mark no it doesn't look like it um as we see Kevin Durant made it there let's see let's see anything here there's LeBron all defensive second team we'll take that no Anthony Davis would have been nice um but yeah man did we avoid the play and we did six seed we here baby like show we here as it looks like it's the um let's see the pelicans who ended up fumbling interesting interesting all right man i'm feeling really good i'm feeling really good all right man let's get into it here we got our opening round game against the warriors before we do that let's go ahead and simulate the play-in where i am so glad that we are not a part of that um as we see we got this game against the warriors of this series i should say Let's see, did they make any sort of trade deadline move? It doesn't look like it. At least the starting lineup is all the same. Injuries have been turned off here. Um, so that's why Steph Curry is playing. Although maybe he might be playing in real life by then. I'm not sure how extensive his injury is. I know he's supposed to miss part of the All-Star break. Um, but yeah, man, this should be a pretty interesting matchup. I like our chances. I really do. Let's go ahead and see um, if we can win this one. We're going to take this game by game. We lose the first one. Lose the second one. Are we already dropping the rotation down? I think we have to, right? Um, oh yeah, was that it was at 10? Oh, that's my bad, guys. I'm bogus for that. As they want to start Austin Reeves. Y'all are tripping, man. You don't want to give any minutes to Beasley. I know Reeves is hot right now, but come on, man. We don't give that to Beasley. Um, let's see who else is not getting minutes now. I feel like I need to get minutes to Schroeder, right? Right? I mean, he's what other like facilitators do we have off the bench? I guess LeBron could be our backup point guard meaning like him or russell needs to be on the floor at the same time um obviously i'm not benching lebron yeah i guess that's what we're gonna do i guess that's what we're gonna do man we're gonna knock that down to an eight-man rotation um i am gonna give some more minutes to d'angelo russell how do how do i do that though yeah i want to get him up to 30 yeah all right um let me come over here and quickly move lebron to make his secondary position a um a point guard let's go ahead and do that here i wish he had a third position um because it's lebron james he can play just about anything but yeah i think we need that if we're gonna have an eight-man rotation without schroeder um we definitely need to have him as an option but let's go ahead and get into this man we're gonna simulate this game we win it all right next one yes sir next one oh come on guys come on i don't want to shorten the rotation anymore i think we're just going simcast i think we're just gonna go simcast and pray come on man Come on, let's get it. Let's get it. We here. All right, game seven. Game seven. So we blew them boys out in the second half. We like that. Let's get straight to it, man. I don't think we need to do anything else. We're coming into this game with all the momentum. So let's get into this, man. Come on. 
we're on the road that's tough oh come on come on come on it's not looking good it's not looking good tough tough all right super unfortunate we did push them to seven is we're gonna just simulate this playoffs entirely um they didn't even make the finals they lost to the mavericks who were borderline about to fall into the play-in remember during the regular season um they hit their stride here as they're going up against the Cavs. we're going to simulate this and the cleveland cavaliers win a championship that's interesting without lebron james um all right i don't really mind any of these guys retiring maybe derrick rose uh you know i'm just gonna let it rock bro if it were lebron you know obviously he's got to come back um but yeah i think i think that's it man i think we're good um as we come over here to the draft lottery we don't have a lottery pick um but i still just want to see how this plays out because i did update or upload the real draft class coming in so who's gonna get victor wamanyama it is the jazz nice that's that's really nice for them him and walker kessler that'll be interesting all right looks about right we do have the 19th pick from new orleans from new orleans is that right i don't think that's right okay so the lakers do have their pick but they have a pick swap where the pelicans can decide um, which one they want do they want their own or do they want the lakers they're just going to take the better one and since the pelicans are 18 here that was actually our pick that they took they gave us theirs at 19 so hope that makes sense but we do have the 19th pick in the draft so we're going to go to the draft and just see who's out there man maybe we'll make a move um and try to trade this because i am bringing these guys back um our original core from this past season and i want to try to win a championship man that's still the goal because if we don't win one with LeBron, um, we're going to have to tear everything down. And this rebuild is going to take so, so long. So we're trying to win a championship with LeBron. Best believe. Um, let's go ahead and see what kind of value this pick has. And actually, it can't be traded. Oh, because it was involved in that swap. So I guess we're going to make this pick. <laughs> we can still trade the guy later on, I guess. Um, but let's just sim to the user pick. See who's there at 19. I do know the draft fairly well as now I'm getting trade offers. Okay interesting oh there's gary payton okay let's go ahead and see gary payton he's on a player option does it make sense for the trailblazers i think so you know they just traded josh hart for cam reddish in real life as i'm recording this today um so yeah i'd imagine they're starting to go young maybe look to the future a little bit post damian lillard um and if that's the case gary payton would definitely be available so they would take that first round pick i think we're gonna make this trade man we get a second round pick as well so that's not horrible Let's go ahead and see. They got Rajon Rupert from France. I have heard of his name before. I don't know a whole lot about him. Let's see what his overall is looking like. As, yeah, the Jazz did take uh, Victor Wamanyama. Makes sense. Uh, let's see. We missed out on this guy who's 72 overall. I'm not mad at it. Not like we were for sure going to pick him, but I'm not mad at it. Um, as we come over here to team player options. Let's see. Malik Beasley, you best believe we're going to accept that. He's 26 um so yeah he's definitely should at least be retaining his overall i don't think he'll be regressing hopefully not um qualifying offers for austin reeves rihachimura yes of course got to do that and now we're coming to free agency where we have a lot of moves to make man d'angelo russell we have to bring him back he doesn't have any offers so we're gonna try to save some money you feel me this is something i always do man if they don't have offers i'm gonna try to get myself a little a little budget move right here let's get this under 20 um that would be great can we i don't want to go too low because they might actually say he's insulted and he won't negotiate anymore um we'll give him a little player option type of thing on the last year is that gonna help cool he at least took it i'm um, worth considering it, i should say but he doesn't have any other offers so yeah i think that's a pretty good deal for d -Lo. um let's go ahead and take a look around here see who else we have thomas bryant unrestricted free agent we got to bring him back although not for that much money man does he have any offers he doesn't so you know what we're about to do right here yes sir i want to get that to 15 five um four years for him i don't know if i could do four my boy i'm thinking let's say we don't win a championship and i do have to tear this thing down i don't know if i'm gonna want thomas bryant because i'm gonna be trying to lose at that point um and going young so i think two to three probably sounds better actually has a little more interest in two can we get this down to like 15 that make me feel really good 14 9 because i'm petty all right bet um who else do we got around here man who else do we got around here let me do some digging Rui is a restricted free agent um i feel like there's some other people there's dennis Schroeder, who at 10 mil i don't know if we can do that man 
I don't know if we could do that. And we just brought Gary Payton. So I'm fine with letting him walk now. Austin Reeves is a restricted free agent. Um, who else is there? Lonnie Walker, unrestricted. We got to bring him back because even if we do rebuild, he's 24. Um, we could definitely use him. Does he have any offers? No, he does not. Lonnie, we're taking this thing down, my boy. Uh, can I get this to 7.5? 7, 7 might be pushing that thing, right? 7.5 might be pushing that. It's not. It's not lovely. All right. Those are all our offers we can make for day one. And it looks like we've hit on all of them. Russell, Bryant, and Walker. Um, Batman, what else do we got around here? Um, there's Patrick Beverly. But again, we have Gary Payton now. Um, he fell out of our rotation entirely once we got that trade to bring in D'Angelo Russell. So we don't need Patrick Beverly. And I think that's honestly it, man. I think that's honestly it. There's Winyan Gabriel. He's not interested. <laughs> that's funny. Um, yeah, I think we're solid, man. I think we're solid. And I am going to keep going day by day here because I'm expecting Rui or Austin Reeves to probably get a restricted free agent offer um, from a different team. So let's go ahead and see if that's the case. If not, I would love to bring him in on the qualifying. And I'm not seeing anything. All right, bet. Austin Reeves accepts it. Rui accepts it. And we're back at it, man. We're back out of here with our player progression. LeBron goes down two. That's tough, but that's fine. He's 38. I mean, what do you expect? Jared Vanderbilt, 81 overall. We like that. Lonnie Walker had a nice little uptick. Rui Hachimura went down one. That's disappointing. Good to see Malik Beasley go up two. Okay. Um, yeah, actually really happy that Gary Payton is still a 76. We'll take that. I thought he was going to go down. Max Christie goes up one. I might just send him to the G League um, just to at least give him some time to play somewhere. Because I still don't think we're going to find a spot for him um, here in this rotation. But either way, man, let's come to the regular season and check out the rotation now. All right, so we got D'Angelo Russell, Malik Beasley, LeBron James at the three. I'm actually going to give the starting spot to Jared Vanderbilt. Um, since Rui Hachimura didn't really show a whole lot of progression, didn't really shoot the ball crazy well, slightly below league average. But Jared Vanderbilt shot a little bit above it, so that's nice to see. We'll also have Anthony Davis now off the bench. We have Thomas Bryant, Lonnie Walker, the fourth. Um, Ruby Hachimura and Gary Payton getting minutes over Austin Reeves um, just because we need a point guard man we need somebody else to help out when it comes to facilitating on the second unit and Gary Payton to me is just a really good glue guy helps out on both ends of the floor um, we still have our big man depth with Thomas Bryant we have some wing depth there with Ruby Hachimura I um, mean we even have some more wing play here with Lonnie Walker who's a 3-2 so yeah, man, I feel like that's going to be the rotation. Honestly, I don't know how many moves I want to make. I think we're going to go up to the trade deadline, see what we're looking like. And if we need to, maybe we upgrade the shooting guard position, um, maybe even packaging like Austin Reeves and Malik Beasley. I hate to let go of Austin Reeves, but at the end of the day, he's 25 years old. Let's say I don't win a championship these next two seasons and I got to tear it down. He'd be 27 by then. And if that's the case, do I really want 27 year old Austin Reeves? for a team that's probably not even going to be competitive until like three four seasons you know it just might not fit so we'll find out come trade deadline but let's go ahead and get to it man um hello we're 44 and 11 i don't know if you guys saw that but we started off like i think 22 and 1 something crazy like that yeah nah I mean, what kind of moves should I even make, man? Like, we're doing our thing. LeBron James, 25 points, 8 boards, 8 assists. Anthony Davis, 22, 12, 2 and a half blocks. Uh, D'Angelo Russell, 16 and 6. How's he shooting the ball? He's shooting that thing. Even Lonnie Walker, he hasn't gotten a start yet, but he's doing his thing off the bench. Yeah, this team is looking nice, man. Jared Vanderbilt, though, yeah, he's still shooting the three ball pretty well. Just not shooting a lot. I'd imagine his shot tendency is pretty low right 34 yeah but like i don't even want to bench him because we're winning games so i think we're good man i really do think we're good um but i guess i wouldn't be doing my job if i didn't at least look around so let me go ahead and see what's out there so gary payton the second and austin reeves combined for about 11 mil just about and that might be enough to get something man i'm looking to maybe upgrade the point guard spot um maybe even the shooting guard spot we're gonna find out here but at the end of the day, man, I don't want to mess with anything too much because we're playing so well. So I think I'm going to look around just a little bit just to say I did my job. Um, but I have to imagine it's going to be hard for me to find something. Let's see. Spencer Dinwiddie is tempting. I'm not going to lie. He can shoot the three ball well. He's a good perimeter defender. 
His playmaking is good. Um, he's 6'5", so he can play both the 1 and the 2 for us once we shorten our rotation. Yeah, this is tempting, man. The money matches up, um, but it says he actually was recently traded for. Okay, so they just got him. All right, that's tough. Yeah, that's tough. That was about the only guy I could find that I was really interested in. So I think at the end of the day, man, we're just gonna we're just gonna stay put. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I feel like it's definitely not broke right now. So we're just gonna simulate the rest of this season and see how it plays out. Quick note though, Anthony Davis is eligible for an extension and he's willing to sign one. So even if we tear down a rebuild, man, Anthony Davis is definitely a big trade piece. So we're gonna try to get this down to 35. Yeah, cause you know, I'm always trying to save some cash. Um, so we'll do 34.99 because I'm petty. He says he accepts. That's great. Is anybody else interested here? Uh, Max Christie. Yeah, we'll sign him. Now he's young. So I would actually really love to bring him on like a four year deal. And if we could just get that to like three, five, he's accepted. That's fantastic. That's going to be a really, really good deal. Um, I think it'll age well because he's 21 years old and four years from now. I mean, he should be in the 80 range making like, what was that? Like three something per year, 3.5. Yeah, about four. We'll definitely take that. But I think that's about it, man. I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and simulate the rest of this regular season and to see how we finish. So we finished 65 and 17. Luka Doncic wins MVP. Makes sense. Victor Wamanyama. Amen Thompson, six man of the year. That's cool. Um, all righty. All righty, most improved Jonathan Kaminga. That's a scary sight for the Warriors if they're getting that. I'm sure they would love that. Um, taking a look at this, LeBron James All-NBA second team. And he's falling off. He's falling off. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Kevin Durant, All-NBA third team. I'm keeping an eye on the Suns because, like I said, as I'm recording this, uh, this trade just happened like 10 minutes before I started recording. So that's still insane to me. Actually, I'm going to be having a realistic Suns rebuild out tomorrow. So make sure to stay tuned for that. I normally don't post on the weekends, but I'm going to be putting out some more stuff on the weekends as well. So plenty of content coming out, man. Just had to plug that. Anthony Davis, all NBA third team. All right. All right. All defensive first team. That's what I like to see, man. He didn't make one last season. We like that. We like that a lot, man. All right. Let's go ahead and see. We are the top seed. Uh, was there anyone even close to us? Let's find out. <laughs> there was not. 65 and 17, 12 games back. The Houston, wait, the Houston Rockets? They brought in Kyrie Irving um, and are benching Jalen Green. You know, what I should do is move Kyrie to the one, put Jalen Green at the two. That way they have uh, 290 overall people in the backcourt. But they're my competition, bro. So they want to bench Jalen Green by all means. The Utah Jazz? Bro, they brought in Kyle Kuzma, Victor Ramanyama, Jeremy Grant. All right, you see? My stuff is realistic in his realistic rebuilds. This is not. I cannot control this. Um, I don't see them doing all this, man. I don't see them doing all this. Uh, but hey, more power to them. The Minnesota Timberwolves. Do they even have Mike Conley? I know he's on an expiring deal. Doesn't look like he's there anymore. Um, the Phoenix Suns. Wow, that's surprising. That's surprising. I guess they re-signed Jay Crowder because he was definitely a part of that deal, right? Yeah, he <laughs> spent last year in Brooklyn and said, you know what? I, I know I didn't play with y'all all of last season, but I do want to come back. That's hilarious. All right. That's interesting. Uh, where did Russell Westbrook end up? I just want to see, man. I'm curious right now. I know I'm getting off track. He's in Boston. That's crazy. Giving some backup point guard minutes. What's my boy doing? 13 points, five assists. Okay, Russ. Shooting it not too well. Um, but all right, man. Let's actually check out our stats here before we get into this. I know I'm uh, taking forever here to get this going but this is the first time we have a full season under these guys' belts together so i want to know how they're playing um and it looks like they're playing well man d still doing his thing um still shooting the ball really well that's good to see i likes that out of ad man 22 and 12 we'll take that oh, i wish you get a bubbly average lebron actually is though from deep so that's nice yeah yeah i feel really good gary payton didn't really do much but hey man i'm assuming it's the defense that he's bringing so Let's go ahead and simulate the play in here. We're going up against the OKC Thunder. Who did they got? Who did they got? Shea, Josh Giddy, Lugans Dort, uh, Cam. I don't know why I said Lugans. Um, people just say Lou, but Cam Johnson. Interesting. So he did not go back to Brooklyn after that trade. And Shed Homer. That's a really nice team. It's a really nice team. But we're better, man. Let's simulate these. We win the first one. We win the second one. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, I was going to say. I think gentlemen sweep. Yeah, okay. Golden State, this is the team that beat us last season. Who do they got? Did they run it back? They got Steph, Jordan Poole, Andrew Wiggins, MIP, Jonathan Kaminga, and now James Wiseman starting. Oh, no, nah, you better eat, AD. You better do your thing, AD. Let's get this, man. We lose the first one. There we go. Come on, bounce back, boys. Bounce back, boys. Oh, yeah. We here, man, against Houston. Even with Jalen Green off the bench. They're still doing their thing. All right. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Let's simulate this game by game. We take the first one. The second one. The third one. We here, man. LA. Let's get it. AD, Western Conference Player of the Year against the Cavs. This is the team that beat us, or I'm sorry, that won the championship last season. Darius Garland, Donovan Mitchell, Isaac Okoro, Evan Mobley, Jared Allen. Same team. Same team. Um, they didn't upgrade the three spot. That's something I wish they would have done in real life come trade deadline. But Isaac Okoro is now 79. I don't know what he is in real life right now, but 79 solid, I guess. We're going to take this game by game. We lose the first one. Come on, boys. No, not 3-1. There we go. There we go. Do I shorten this rotation right now? You know what, man? I'm going to do a preemptive uh, rotation shortening. Let's get this down to eight. Let's get this down to eight. They want to start Malik Beasley. Uh, yeah, nah. Jared Vanderbilt is still... Oh, my God. He's not shooting well at all, man. Do I just go Lonnie? He's not shooting well either. Is Rui shooting well? What you doing, Rui? Yeah. Yeah, now nah, We're going to go Rui. We're going to go Rui. Um, let's see... And then we'll still give minutes to him. I guess Lonnie's going to be like a guard, a point guard for us. Is uh, LeBron's secondary position still point guard? It is. Okay, I feel fine about it then. Thomas Bryant, Jared Vanderbilt, Lonnie Walker. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think that is about as good as it's going to get for us. I want to say. So let's come over here and simulate this, man. Let's get this game, please. No! <sighs> do I shorten this? Do I make any changes? I don't think I do, man. I don't think I do. I think I'm just going to go Simcast. Let's get it, man. Come on. I feel like we're the better team. I feel like we are. As we're up right now, we like to see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Game seven. Let's get it. Put up 154 on them, boys. What'd you, what'd we do, man? Who led us? Who led the way for us? 45, 8, and 9. Let's go, Braun. 31 for Malik Beasley is insane. All right. We're here, man. We're here. We're going to simcast this. Game seven. I'm just not realizing it's LeBron versus Cleveland, which is crazy. Um, and we're at home. Come on, man. Back and forth. We're here. We're here, man. If it's close down the stretch, we're going to stop this. Oh, my gosh. We're right there. Yep. Come on, boys. Come on, man. We got this. All right. We're stopping it. 106 left. It is all tied up. Let's get into this game, man. Let's get into this. This is crazy. This is insane. I really hope we win. I really hope we win because if we don't, this is going to be so brutal. Um, as it always does this weird camera angle. Let me fix this real quick. All right, man. Let's get into it. 106 left. I really wish I was playing this game. I'm not going to lie. Um, but we're just going to let it ride out, man. Hopefully, we win this because I guess we'd have to run it back next season, man. I don't want to start the teardown, honestly. Oh, there, there we go. Come on, man. Now, that's a tough take. That is a tough take by Darius Garland. All right, Braun. Let's get it, man. The ball is in his hands. As it should be. Come on. You got Ricky Rubio on you. We're here. Oh, that's a tough shot. That's a tough shot. But LeBron James, he makes those, man. 113 to 113. Let's get it. D up. Let's go. Oh, that would have been such a big steal there. Would have been such a big steal by uh, Jared Vanderbilt. All right, as we see Rui Hachimura is coming into the game. Same for D'Lo. I was wondering where D'Lo is at. You know, a lot of times these guys foul out late down the stretch. But here we go, man. Oh, yeah. He got him beat. He got him beat. All right. Two free throws for Ricky Rubio. And it looks like the Cavs are going to have a two for one here as well. Um, so, yeah, they played their cards pretty well here. Yep. All right. Two-point game, man. Get this to Braun. Come on, Braun. Deliver once again. He's got to have a Mobley on him. That's a tough matchup. Mobley is mobile enough. Oh, are you catching and shooting that, d -Lo? What was that? What was that? d -Lo. You're not that guy, bro. LeBron needs to be shooting that. 
Guys, not like this. Not like this. Let's go. Run that. Three-point game. Get that to Beasley. Oh, I thought he was going to be open there. There we go. Oh, he wants it. Brown wants it. I was going to say, if D'Lo pulls that again. That's a good shot. Yep, let's take it. We'll take that, man. We'll take that one-point game. 10.6 seconds left. Come on, boys. Come on, let's get this. All right, man. Here we go. We're going to have to foul very quickly here. Uh, so I really wish they would try ball denial, not let it get to Garland. All right, here we go. Come on, man. Miss one for us. Miss one for us. First one's up and good. Second one, I really, really don't want to have to run it back for a third season when we need a championship, man. I really don't. I really don't. But they're going to need a three-pointer here. Who are you getting this to? I mean, it should be LeBron, right? It should be LeBron, even though he's not the best percentage-wise. You know, it's still Bron at the end of the day, but we got to inbound this. That's a decent-ish look. Guys. <laughs> no! Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. GG's, boys. GG's. Because we got no timeouts left. <sighs> it looks like we're running it back. LeBron for three. Yeah. We're running it back. We are running it back for a third season where I guess we're going to try to bring everyone back. You know, that's what we're going to have to do here. Um, is I can't even skip this. I'm going to cut this out while I'm editing this because I have to watch this, but you guys don't have to. Uh, this is tough, man. This is tough. And the thing that's even more tough is they've won two straight titles and are only getting better because they're a young team. So. If anything, it's going to be even harder for us to beat them next season. Chris Paul retires. We'll let it rock. Yeah, man. This is uh, this is not the position that I wanted to be in. I really, really wanted to win this year. Um, so that way, this year, I could just tear it down. You know? Um, but we're not going to be doing that. We're going to run this back, man. LeBron is, what, 39 now? Um, but I think this is the last year of his deal. These are all auto-generated drafts at this point. I was the Knicks get it. And I don't think we have any sort of picks, right? Yeah, we gave it up to the Jazz and the, um, this is, is this the Russell Westbrook trade? Are we in? No, because that's 2027. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but let's skip all that. Come over here to team player options and see what it's looking like here. So Gary Payton has accepted his player option, um, but that doesn't mean he's safe. We might move on from him. We'll see how much he regresses. Uh, Austin Reeves, we're going to extend the qualifying offer. We will not for Kellen Martin. So there's Jared Vanderbilt. Um, he does have one offer from the Heat, and it's only seven mil. They're giving him a one and one So he wants to have like a, you know, bet on yourself type of deal where he goes one year, boosts his stock. I guess we'll knock this down to like 15 and a half. And hopefully we bring him back, man, because we actually really need to. Let's go ahead and see. Um, viewing his offers, we are the top one. Yeah, he wasn't even interested in this heat one. I probably could have saved even more money. That's an L. That's an L for me. Um, let's go ahead and see who else is out here. Rui Hachimura has no offers. That's what I like to see, Rui. That's what I like to see. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I wish nothing but the best for you, my boy. But I'm a GM, man. I got to watch out for myself here. Can I get this down to 9.5? Am I pushing it? I'm not. We like it. We like it. Who else we got, man? Malik Beasley, unrestricted free agent. No offers. You know what I got to do. You feel me? Let's get this down. Let's get this down to like nine. Yeah, 8.9. Cause you know I'm petty. And those are our three offers. Um, yeah, we got the boys back it looks like. Bet. Uh, who else do we got? Austin Reeves, restricted free agent. So, you know, we'll let that rock. And this is a little bit of a sneaky pickup, man. But Jay Sean Tate might give us some really good depth on the wing. Um, he's a good enough perimeter defender. He is 28. We're going to try to give him, let's see, he has no offers. So that's what we like to see, man. We're going to knock this down to about a little under six. See if that works. So everybody accepted, including Jay Sean Tate. Um, I'm really just checking to make sure nobody extends an offer to Austin Reeves because if they do, then that's tough. I don't know if I'll be able to extend it. I want to bring him back, if anything, just to trade him, man, because I'm trying to win right now. I know that the Lakers probably shouldn't be going all in even more as we see he did accept his qualifying offer. 
Uh, but we want to win this, man. LeBron is 39, 94 overall. Probably going to be retiring after this, I would imagine. So at this point, we're not even getting trade value for him. So I think we just need to win it, man. We need to win this year and just build a team around him that can do that. So D'Angelo Russell's up one. Thomas Bryant is up one. Rui's up one. I like that. I did just notice now that AD went down one. He's 31. Yeah. Max Christie's a 75. Okay, that's good to know. We're going to have to go all in. We're going to have to go all in because Gary Payton is now out of the rotation. So we for sure need a point guard off the bench. Um, I think Jay Sean Tate would be a nice wing for us. Either way, let's go ahead and take a look at the rotation here. So this is what I'm thinking, man. D'Angelo Russell, Lonnie Walker now getting the start um, because he has been shooting pretty well for us as we take a look at this here. Um, yeah, 37%, 38% from deep. We need his floor spacing. Um, so we're fine with giving him the start. Jared Vanderbilt would be at the three. LeBron James at the four. He actually went up to a 95, so that's nice. And then Anthony Davis. Off the bench, we still have Thomas Bryant, Malik Beasley, Rui Hachimura. And it's an eight-man rotation from the playoffs. Um, so it just hasn't been adjusted yet. But we would be giving some minutes to probably Jay Sean Tate, man. I think Austin Reeves has to go. I know he's a fan favorite, but he's got some value, man. I want to package him and maybe uh, Malik Beasley so we can get a starting shooting guard and then move Lonnie back to the bench. I think that's the game plan. So let's go ahead and see what's out there. So I actually forgot that we just signed Austin Reeves, so we can't move him until January 26th. Um, Beasley, December 22nd. So we're going to simulate to this date right here, January 26th. And then we'll go ahead and make some moves, man. Try to win now. Let's get it. So guys, we're 39 and 10, which makes me feel like maybe we shouldn't make a move. But again, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't look. Have I even made a trade yet? I don't even know if I made a trade yet this video. So we got to do something, man. We're going to package Malik Beasley. Um, who's actually been shooting really well. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. What has Lonnie been doing? He's been good too, man. He's been good too. Is it maybe like packaging Jay Sean Tate um, with Austin Reeves? Is that the game plan? I think that might be the game plan, man. Let, let me just see. Let's see what's out there. This is about a little under 9 mil per year. So let's see what we can find. All right, man. It is a bit of a stretch, but we're trying to get Clay Thompson. He's only making two mil. Um, I guess he's on a veteran's minimum at this point on the Timberwolves, a losing team. You know, they would take the first round pick. They need to get some draft capital back after giving up so much for Rudy Gobert. We would give up Jay Shante, who's not really in a rotation. And now we'd probably be looking at, I don't know if we want to start Clay, but either way, he'd be really nice off the bench for us um, as a nice three point shooter. So we're going to try to make this deal happen. They say no. Um, can we just throw in some seconds, man? Don't do this. Don't do this. I don't care about the seconds. I know it looks like a lot. I know it looks like we're giving up a lot, but it's just seconds. That's fine. Um, so let's go ahead and see how we're going to make this work, man. They want to start him. He's an 80 overall. You know, there's been a lot of talk that Clay Thompson would be the perfect fit with LeBron James. Well, it's happening when Clay's 34 and LeBron is now 40 G's. Um, but Hey, we're going to try it out now. So D'Angelo Russell, Clay Thompson, um, I guess we're going Jared Vanderbilt still, right? Yeah. Um, at the four, LeBron will be at the three and off the bench. Now let's go ahead and see what we got. We still need a backup point guard, man. I think this is where we move Austin Reeves in order to get a backup point guard. Cause we got Rui Hachimura, Thomas Bryant, Lonnie Walker, and Malik Beasley. Um, but other than that, man, I think that'd be good. So let's see what else is out there. And there it is. Spencer Dinwiddie. This is the guy I've been trying to get, man. Let's see. Do we even have to give up these seconds? We don't. We don't. Let's go, man. This is what I want to see. All right. So now we're looking at D'Angelo Russell, Clay Thompson, LeBron James, Jared Vanderbilt, and Anthony Davis. Off the bench, we got Rui Hachimura, Thomas Bryant, Spencer Dinwiddie, and Lonnie Walker. We'll even give some minutes to Malik Beasley here, at least for the regular season, because um, we need a deep bench, man. LeBron is 40. AD is what? Uh, 31. Clay Thompson's 34. Yeah, we can't be running short rotations here. Um, guys have to be getting some rest. So we're going to go ahead and do that, man. I think that is the way to go. I feel really good about this team. I feel really good. If we don't like Clay um, starting for us, then we can always go with like Spencer Dinwiddie, shoot, even Malik Beasley. I feel like we have a lot of options. So let's go ahead and simulate the rest of this season, man. We are 39 and 10. Did I do too much changing everything up? Um, maybe, maybe, but let's go ahead and find out. 
So he finished 64 and 18, another really good season, but this scares me. The Cleveland Cavaliers have won back to back championships, and how Darius Garland is MVP. That's not great. That does not make me feel good. Um, as we get Defense Player of the Year, Anthony Davis, let's go, man. That makes me feel a little bit better. Darvin Ham, Coach of the Year. All right. All right. I feel a little, I feel pretty good, I guess, is how I would describe it, but not great because this man right here and his team uh, terrify me. LeBron James, All NBA second team. Victor Wamanyama is now making All NBA teams. Um, yeah, Anthony Davis, All NBA third team. All right, man. Hey, we got a chance. All defensive first team. Yeah. Yeah. We got a chance, man. We are the top seed. Let's go ahead and check it out. How close were the Cavs? 64 and 18. No one that close for us. The Thunder were five games back in our conference. Um, the Cavs, 60 and 22. Okay, so we have a slight edge. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stats really quick. See what them boys are looking like um, as we go ahead and sort this year. And LeBron James leading the way, 21 points. I feel like we're pretty well-rounded. AD, 19. Russell, 18. Clay 17. Okay. Hey, man. I feel good. I feel good. And we should be a pretty good three-point shooting team. Oh, yeah. We got so many guys in the 40s. Even like LeBron still about league average. Anthony Davis is a little bit below. Yeah, so we can knock down some shots, man. We can knock down some shots. We don't have a whole lot of rebounding outside of AD, um, but I guess that's fine. I like the facilitating. You know, Russell's still giving us about six. We round up around here. Spencer Dinwiddie about five. Hey, this is it. This is about as good of a team as I can put together. This is win now mode. Um, it's a bit aggressive, but this is what we did, man. And I feel pretty confident with the roster. As you take a look at the Grizzlies here, it's the same team. Let's go ahead and get into this, man. Let's get this. Game one goes to us. We should get this in five, I'm going to say. Gentlemen sweep. Yeah, show some respect for Ja. Let's join this rotation. <laughs> I'm not even going to mess around, man. I'm not even going to mess around. As they want to start Lonnie Walker. What you doing, Lonnie? What you doing, Lonnie? Eh. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I guess we'll start Lonnie. That's fine. Um, as we take away minutes from Malik Beasley, that's cool, too. Yeah. I guess that's what we're going to do, man. I guess that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and simulate this game. We win it. Come on, boys. Let's go. I really didn't want to give seven. As we go up against Houston... Um, they have lost Kyrie Irving, question mark. Maybe they just got him off the bench because Jalen Green's better now. Let's go ahead and find that out really quick because that makes a big difference in how much I'm afraid of them. Um, let's go ahead and see Kyrie's off the bench. Great. Great. And they got Brandon Miller. This team would be so good if they just had a competent coach right now. No disrespect to uh, Steven Silas, but yeah, man, they should be starting that backcourt, but it is what it is. I'm not complaining. Let's simulate this. We lose the first one. There we go. We win the second. Come on, boys. Bounce back. Let's go, boys. We don't blow these. Yes, sir. We here, man. And Cleveland is on the ropes. Cleveland's on the ropes. They're out of there. They're out of there. Let's go. I feel great as we go up against Utah. Man, if we lose to Utah, the irony. The irony. All right. Let's go ahead and simulate this game by game. We lose the first one. We take the second. We lose that one. Let's go, boys. Come on. Let's go, boys. Come on. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I got to be careful. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning as I'm recording this, and I got uh, neighbors. I'm in an apartment. But all right, man. All right. Orlando Magic, now led by Paolo Bancaro, um, who is an 89 overall. They got Lonzo Ball, one of the Thompson twins, uh, Franz, Paolo Wendell. This is a really nice team, man. But we should be better. We should be better. Come on. Let's go. First game. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We're here. LA! We have done it, and thank God I don't have to do another season and tear it down, man. Because LeBron is sluggish, man. My man just won a championship at 40 years old. I don't know if he could have ran it back for another year. So thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad that we won this. Um, hey, man, this was a lot of fun. You know, this is obviously a really big trade that just went down as I'm recording this today. I'm going to be on top of all the trade deadline stuff, guys. So tomorrow we will have an episode on the Phoenix Suns. Now that they got Kevin Durant. Um, and make sure to let me know what other rebuilds you guys want to see. And don't worry, I'm not forgetting about my rebranded series. I know I've got the Tucson Coyotes. 
um we just started our second season if you guys haven't watched that series make sure to check that out uh videos should be popping up here but yeah man i usually just post weekdays but while we've got a lot of trade deadline stuff i'm going to be posting every single day including the weekends for the foreseeable future just at least until some of this hype dies down um, because I still want to put out a bunch of realistic rebuilds, but I also want to show some love to the rebranded series. So I won't be forgetting about that. But yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Again, I've been looking at analytics. 80% of y'all have been watching these videos are not subscribed. So if you could hit that button, it really mean a lot to me. But this has been 2KJ. Blessings.